Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Tips. Um, one of the young plumbers has asked me to do one on scrap, which is uh, it's a good subject really because scrap is, is our little uh, plumber's perk, isn't it? You know, your, your MPs have got their expenses and your big fat cats have got the tax evading or avoiding or what they call it. Us plumbers don't have much except scrap. And it's best to uh, make the best of it when you've got it. You know, if you just throw it all in a bag and take it to the scrap man, he'll give you what's called the mixed price, which is a mixture of copper, brass, and brazing copper. And uh, it's it, you can you can do better than that by sorting it out yourself. For instance, copper is the best price. Now that's clean copper, right? So you put that in a bag and keep that together, and that's, and that's the best price the copper. The second best price. Is a brazing copper. Now the paint doesn't make any difference at all, that'll just burn off. But what does make a difference is you've got the fittings on here, you see. And once you've had a fitting and it's soldering, then you can't put that in as copper because it's uh, the process of re recycling, it, it doesn't quite, um, it, it's not clean copper. So the best thing to do is cut that off and cut any fittings off. And put the fittings in the brazing copper bag. So you've got a clean copper bag, brazing copper bag, and then the next category is the brass. Anything brass goes in the brass bag. You know, like stop taps and that are brass. So you can cut any copper off, put your copper in your copper bag, and your brass in your brass bag. Um, a lot of things like taps are brass. You might not think they're brass because they're chrome plated, but under the chrome plate in the brass. Anything that's to do with water is um, non-ferrous metal. So the brass copper, uh, brazing copper. Here we have a three-port valve. That's brass. There's a little bit of iron in it, uh, steel and everything, but just saw that in. It, it, it won't knock your pen, pennies off. But the best. Um, to take it to the best places, go to a, a scrap dealer. Don't give it to these lads what's riding about in the transit vans with radiators and things on top. They'll not give you the best price. The best price comes from the um, look in the paper and see scrap dealers and phone round, ask them. Say how much you're giving for copper and they'll tell you. Here's another good thing that we have, a cylinder. But this is, this is brazing copper because of these joints. You know, they can't, uh, the same again, they can't throw it in the copper, just in the, in the melt, because it won't do it. But if you've got the time and you've got the energy, you could cut all them out, you know, and uh, cut off the panels and everything, make it, well, that gets involved. I usually just take the cylinders in and they give you the, the brazing price. At the current moment, you'll get 50 quid for a cylinder, like that, and you get a bit more if it's, um, Primatic cylinder because they're heavier. So that's what I do, I just take the cylinders in. Um, here's another thing you see, this sometimes it's the stainless, sometimes it's uh, chrome plated copper. If you can't tell, just give it a couple of scratches. And if you see that shiny copper, that's copper, but it's brazing copper, you can't put that in this clean copper. So there you go. How to make the best uh, out of your copper. And don't tell your wife about it. Put it in your back pocket. Where you got your money from this week? Oh, I found it. I made it. Any excuse, don't tell them where it comes from. Alright, see you again.